Welcome to another episode of Making the Keto, and today we're making pizza dough. I'm going to show you guys how to make the pizza dough that I use to make my iconic keto deep dish pizza. And also, if you just want to make my regular pan crust pizza, I'll be showing you the same recipe I use to make it. And I'll be linking it in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm making a separate pizza dough video just so people can have the recipe to my pizza dough and don't have to go watch other videos to get it. So this is an easy way to grab the pizza dough recipe without watching an entire another video. All right, guys, so the full recipe will be linked in the description box below. But we're going to start with our dry ingredients first. So we're going to go ahead and add in our vital wheat gluten. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our lupin flour. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our oat fiber and then our xanthan gum, and then we'll add in our pinch of salt, and then we'll add in a tablespoon of sweetener. Now guys, you can change that. If you wanted a little bit sweetened more, you can add more sweetener, but I started with a tablespoon. And then we're just gonna mix everything very well, guys. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get out our stand mixer, and we're going to be putting in some warm water. This water needs to be between 120 and 130 degrees, guys. So make sure your water temperature is within that range. All right, now we're gonna add in our honey and mix it in with the water. So guys, um, this part is optional. You do not have to add the honey. You can make this recipe without the honey. But if you don't use the honey, the uh, yeast that I'm going to add in next, it, you won't get that reaction that's, that you need the, for your uh, pizza dough to rise. So um, you can do it without using the honey, but just expect uh, a thinner pizza pizza dough. And uh, like I was showing you when you add the yeast in, as you can see, if you look closely, how it's reacting with the sugar inside of the honey, guys. The yeast is going to eat all of that, so you don't have to account for it in your macros as far as uh, carbs, because once the yeast is done eating it, it's going to be like you never put it in there. You just need that reaction to happen to get your dough to rise. All right, moving on. We're gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of uh, avocado oil, or you can do room temperature softened butter. Either will work. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our room temperature egg. And when you add that in, just give it a quick mix. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add in all our dry ingredients. And once we got that in, we're going to add on our uh, paddle. Once we add on this paddle, we're gonna use this, this paddle right here first because we wanna get everything mixed well, and then we'll switch over to the dough hook to knead the dough. All right, now once we're done with our paddle attachment, your uh, dough should look something like this, not all the way put together yet. And this is where we want it at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch paddles. Um, but before we do that, let's pack everything down to the bottom into a ball form and just get it kind of halfway there for the uh, the knead hook. And once we've done this, we're just going to go ahead and switch over to the kneading hook. And we're going to knead the dough for around five to seven minutes. Once your dough is kneaded around five to seven minutes, your dough will be ready. And once that's done, I will show you guys how this pizza dough should look when it's done. All right, guys, so this is what your dough should look like. Um, it should have a real stretchy consistency. Um, it won't be exactly like regular bread dough because it's the gluten mixture, it, it's, it just won't be. You guys know how keto is, um, but it's the closest you probably will get. Um, the thing about this dough is the gluten in it wants to relax so much, and um, you might not be able to scratch it as much as a conventional dough, but you can scratch it enough to get what you need out of it, which is a pizza. Now, this recipe makes roughly around two, um, you know, personal size pizzas. And that's normally what I do it for. I normally make one for me and then one for my wife and we, you know, that's dinner. So guys, this is the pizza dough. So let me show you all the wonderful creations that you can make from this pizza dough.
guys that's it for the video thank you for watching hey please subscribe to my channel if you're liking the content i've been putting it out and if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you hate it go ahead and hit the thumbs down because y'all know what i'm doing over here y'all i'm making keto easy by making everything keto see you guys in the next one peace